The only other time I went over to a kind of place is when I went to like... I, um... At my old work, I knew a lot of rich people. Because it was in a rich area and I got in because my friend worked there. And you know, nepotism. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to make that coin. And so I worked there and like... Um, I remember one of the guys that like... Uh, I love this man. He's like my uncle. Fucking love that guy. Uh, he was just sitting there with his two dogs. And I was like, hi, welcome. And then he was all like... He was all like... Who are you? And I was like, oh, I just started working here. And he's like, tell me your story. And then I told him my whole story. And he's like, you know what? I want to help you. I want to help you. And so he like, he like started giving me money for things. And I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, and I always tried to say no, but he did it anyway. And one thing that he did was he got, he owned like a, like a, an expensive ass apartment on this island resort. Can I get a I guess you're my little cochon poetry Pweezer? Oh, with a sugar cherry on top, nine on lip bite. No. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are like, dude, did he have ulterior motives? Turns out he didn't. He was just an actual nice guy. He just gives everybody money because he's so rich. Seeing as you're a bottom, if you were on the top bunk, it must be because everyone else was on the roof. No, actually, they were on the bottom. Because I wanted the top bunk. I was the badass. Yeah, no, you say, uh, sure. But, like, genuinely, like, he was just a nice person. Which is so fucking... Like, he would... He just went out every day and helped the homeless. He helped all these... Like, he would uh, pay people to walk his dogs just to give them extra money. Like, I, it was... And, like, I got to watch his, like waterfront house for a couple days and he'd pay me to just be on his fucking mansion and just watch his dogs while he was doing work ah i was like damn but he, we got to go on this island and i went with my my co-worker friend and my other friend and it was the three of us going to this island together and he came up to me and he's like numi i trust you with the golf cart not them and i was like okay period <laughs> and so we we was just the three of us and we go over to this island and I realized quickly during that trip that the two of them liked each other. And it went from a swag vacation to Numi third wheels for two days straight. And I know what you're thinking. Probably wasn't that bad. Oh, oh. I would drive the golf cart. I was basically their fucking Uber driver. Like, I'm just driving here with the wind going against my face. Just, just living life. And my friends were... You know how, like, in a golf cart, there is, like, two rows of, of, of seats? They were not in the middle one behind me or next to me. No. They were in the back seat. Just, just with her head on his thighs... While I was driving us around. <laughs> and the worst part about it is I had an allergic reaction the day before. So I had pussy lip eyes. So I was just fucking ugly. <laughs> so I had to wear sunglasses. Their whole entire trip. I couldn't take any pictures. I could only take pictures of my feet. Because... That was my face. <laughs> she was giving up CPR. Shut the fuck up! Feet pics? Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> I laughed out at that, bro. Come on. I just remember, like, we were driving for like 30 minutes just around this island, and there was just a bunch of buffalo, and I was like, ah, buffalo. Nice. Buffalo. And you guys could have said, well, Numi, you could have used your phone, right? There was no cellular service on that island. So it was just me and my thoughts. Me and my thoughts, boys. Ma! Ma! But all the guys like Numi upon seeing her, but once they know Numi doesn't notice their feelings, they switch to her friends. No. They like my friends, not me. <laughs> My credit card works, Pog. God damn it, miss. <laughs> Fucking miss. <laughs> yeah, they always 
been like, oh, can you help me get with your friend? But I don't blame them. My friends were all sexy as fuck. So, I mean, like, I don't I don't blame them at all. I, I always give off more uh, BFF vibes and that's fine. But like, shit, there was, I'm like, at least you could have brought a, an extra person so I wouldn't be lonely, shit. Oh my God. Oh, damn. At least I had a cool captain's hat to keep me warm and to keep me company. I was secretly recorded, recruited as a golf cart driver. That was what made me happy. God, I fucking love driving that golf cart. I felt so swag. I felt so sexy swag. How did nobody notice your charms? Um, I really do give off homie vibes. Because I just like to... Tr I treat everybody the same vibes. Good vibes only. Chubby wubby. It's dance time. The cookie. The cookie. <laughs> It's always okay. 